Overall, as a team, we did quite well. What I do when the competition has finished is I'll look, all at, at, look at all the individual performances and improvements. And on the men's side, with a relatively very young roster of the 21 men that competed last weekend, 16 were brand new, either transfers or freshmen. And they had an 80% individual best times performance uh, statistic. I thought that was outstanding on the women's side. Um, they had a 60% personal best performance last weekend, which for a women's collegiate program is quite high. After we came back from the max, we um, really went back to working basics for about three days because the kids were physically and mentally pretty exhausted. So we did a lot of basics and now we're building up to doing our full list to get ready for ECACs. And for the NCAA zone qualifiers that are going to go back down to Naval Academy, we'll do the same thing. We'll take a, a day or two and go back and really do basics and try to perfect our, our takeoffs and our entries. And then leading up to the zone meet, we'll go back through doing all of our optionals every day. Thursday, there's this Olympic trial um, qualifying meet. I'll be swimming the 100 meter butterfly because that's the event which I'm closest in. I am 1.5 seconds away from the Olympic trial cut. and. I believe I can actually get it. I've been training hard all year for it. I have the mentality right now to get the cut and I can actually um, get a school record as well as a personal best time um, record as well.